Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to another live stream. Welcome back to Star of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. So today we have a lot of things to do. I want to finish. First of all, I hope you guys are doing good and I don't know. It seems like there's some lag. I hope it's not going to be too bad today. I hope we're all going to be fine. But yeah, I want to finish Love It's a Request. Hi, Shelina, Hashtag, Rox. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, yeah, I want to finish Levitt's request. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. It is today. I don't know if you've got any gift or anything special for your mom, but yeah, as for me, I didn't do much, but yeah, I called my mom yesterday and that's pretty much it. We had actually yesterday was my brother's birthday, so we did a little... Uh, we did a little kind of virtual birthday for him and yeah and I bought him Monster Hunter Rise and I got Monster Hunter like th two three weeks like one month ago <laughs> and I didn't play too much but now I bought it for my brother and I was like oh we should play together and like he never played Monster Hunter before so um, yeah so I really gotta start <laughs> playing now and yeah, so, okay, uh, let me... Okay, I want to check. So, I want to finish Levitt's request and I need a coconut. So, I should be able to get my fruits here. It's not Mother's Day for us in the UK. Ours is in March. Oh, I didn't know that. How are you liking Monster Hunter? So, I did play Monster Hunter World quite a lot. And I really, really enjoyed it. But Monster Hunter Rise, I haven't had the chance to play <laughs> too much, even though I've had the game for like one month. So I actually started playing a little bit last night. And I'm really enjoying it. So the only thing I note, well, I'm still early, but I feel like it's easier than Monster Hunter World. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm more experienced, but I feel like it's a lot easier. But maybe I'm, I'm just too early, too early. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I can't wait to play more. And play with my brother because usually I don't have a lot of people to play games with so that's gonna be good so that was like <laughs> that was a gift for him but that was also kind of a gift for me uh, so yeah I'm French hi Lucas yeah French is my first language too actually but I'm Canadian that's what your boyfriend said too oh I see so maybe I'm maybe it's not just me then Have you had the chance to try it as well? So I'm starting to <laughs> make quite a bit of money with these. I make, I think, 154,000 every day. And I want to start, I want to work on making more of these. Um, seedling makers. Hi, K. Hope you're doing good. He said it's easier and told me to play too. Yeah, you should play too, and then we can all play together. Yeah, it takes. If it's your first time playing Monster Hunter, I feel like it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. It can be a little bit <laughs> confusing at first, but hopefully, you can get into it. How do I plant rice and take care of it in this game? I planted some and it just didn't grow, so maybe I'm doing something wrong or it's a bug. Mm, it should grow, but rice takes like 15... I'm not sure exactly. I think 14 days. So just make sure you water it. And yeah, there's nothing... There's really nothing special. Yeah, I'm sure you're... <laughs> I'm sure you're doing it right. Oh, sorry, 152. But I want to make other seedling makers. So I need... I need clay actually that's clay that I'm sh I'm short on clay to make the seedling maker I have like 350 now so I need to get a little bit more clay oh yeah and I think I should be able to make the missing recipe now that I have coconut what's the spicy and mellow main dish oh yeah this one and with this, I'm going to have completed the fourth page of Lovett's request. Ta-da! 
Oh, should I make some rice? Yeah, I need to make the topping. Okay, let me make some rice. I should make a lot of rice. I wish you could make a lot of rice. At the, like, <laughs> it takes 30 minutes to just make one rice. But I'm gonna make, I think, I'm gonna make, let's make a little bit of rice. Yeah, it only grows in spring, autumn for rice. So make sure <laughs> if you've planted it in winter, it's not gonna grow. Oh my gosh, guys. Rune Factory 5 is coming out in 16 days. 16 days until I can start playing Rune Factory 5. I don't know if you're excited, as excited as I am. Uh, probably not, <laughs> but I'm just so excited. Uh, this and King Crab. Like this and topping like this and should be good enough. I'm still working on the requ request for Lavette. Yeah, it took me a time. I mean, I'm in the f I'm in the fourth year and I still have not finished it. Like fishing, like I did a lot of fishing for yesterday's video, but beside that, like I haven't done a lot of fishing before, so I feel like I'm. I'm like at the point in the game where I'm ready to like try to finish everything, get all the fish, finish all the museum and also I'm starting to work on getting all the treasures I've been missing and yeah, all of Levitt's requests. I'm really, I'm really want to finish everything 100% now. Can't wait for Rune Factory 5, please. 300 hours on the fort, oh my gosh, that's a lot. 300 hours. Yay! So now, now's the real, the real challenge. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I don't know if I have the recipe for that. Yeah, there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of recipes I don't have. Kimchi. Grilled fish? That's gonna be easy. Just grilled fish? Okay, let's do this. Oh, I think you need... Oh, yeah, you need the, like, the rainbow quality, right? I think that's the big... Okay, let's see if I can make a rainbow grilled fish. I'm guessing I might need, like... Okay, let's start with the 10 star fish, but I think I might need like a special fish, like a guardian fish or something. I vicarious, I'll, I'll vicariously live through you, Josh. So excited for you to play it. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so hyped and so impatient for details on the North American release. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be not too long after the Japanese one, but probably a few months. Did Josh marry Felicity? No, <laughs> that was just a little cutscene. That's a really cute cutscene, but no. Oh, wait, I need to add lemon. Why am I not adding lemon? Okay, sorry. I, I was reading the chat, but uh, let me try to do things properly like this. And hopefully, maybe I would need like a 10 star lemon, right? Yeah, there is rainbow quality, but it's really hard to like this. <laughs> it, it, it's sometimes like even if my lemon was just six star I was able to get it so it's really sometimes a little bit hard sometimes not too hard fruit sole so that shouldn't be too hard to that's probably just like milk and fruits I think I think you know what there's a lot of recipes that I'm gonna need to be level 10, I think. Yeah. Like there's the Genovese pasta, also that he asked me and I don't have it. There's the kimchi that he asked me, I don't have it. Kimchi is probably in salad, right? Yeah, there's a lot that I don't have yet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to the restaurant, see if there's anything new. I was in winter and my console updated and deleted every- What? 
deleted everything I had in the game, so I restarted yesterday. Oh my gosh, Safi, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully, hopefully you don't have too much trouble restarting. I don't know if I would have the courage to... The patience to redo everything. Okay, nothing new here. Let's check the restaurant. Let's see. Well, I think there's quite a few recipes that you unlock at level 10. I feel like there's never nothing. Never anything new here. Yeah. Yeah, that must be so frustrating. So, alright. So, what I'm gonna do now... I'm also... So, a lot of people have been asking for... A farm tour not in camera mode because <laughs> I did a farm tour a while ago right but I was in camera mode and a lot of people had motion sickness or they couldn't see well so I've been working on making sure my farm looks pretty so maybe I can so I didn't change too much actually there's a few little things that I've changed so of course we're in spring now and so here I used to have a little kind of orchard but it was really messy and not really good so I just wanted to I decided to plant some flowers and here I used to have eight fields like this right but I don't like I really don't need these crops too much so I decided to make this a little bit smaller so now I just have six six fields and that's more than enough because they're just here for decoration so so I decided to make a little path here because I used there used to be a fence here, right? It was well, it was just a field, so I could never if I was on my scooter on my horse, I could never like use this path. So yeah, so I made this path so I I can come all the way down here without having to go like through the field, and then here we still have our little garden. It's getting a little bit messy now, and I need to get a lot of clay for the giant seedling maker. Is there some lag? I see it lagging a little bit in the thing. I hope it's not too bad. And everything else. Yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. I tried to do something with the flowers here. And yeah, everything else is unchanged. Okay, let me just put some stuff. Oh my gosh, I got a lot of... Oh wow, okay. Did I... Ooh, I got a giant powder maker. I didn't notice that. Okay. Yeah, we got that from Lovet, but I didn't notice until now. So let me just place. I don't know why I've always been missing one cheese maker and everything else. You know what? I'm just going to put them here because I don't really have the space. And the powder maker is going to be nice because I've been I've been wanting to make another one. So let's just try to organize things and try to fit two giant makers in here. Should I keep all the moondrop flowers? You should definitely keep the moondrop flowers because they're going to be useful as well as the magic cat, uh, magic cat, pink cat, uh, magic blue, magic red. They're all very useful for... Wait, let me just try to... Mm. It's kind of hard. They're, they're just so big. They're useful for the honey makers. And like the giant honey maker is going to need like 50 of each flower. So yeah, you should keep them. Okay, I'm thinking should I move my field a little bit? Because if I move my field, I'm going to be able to fit two... I got back into playing it for a few weeks. I'm so far behind. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, that's good to hear. Some people have accidentally saved over their 100% sal 
save files. Oh no, that sounds horrible. Yeah, it's kind of kind of risky, right, with the saving system. Sometimes, sometimes me too. I uh, like for videos and things like that. Sometimes I'm gonna have like a separate save file, and sometimes I'm always scared. I never like really messed up, but I'm always a little bit scared of messing up. So. Yeah, I want to fit another giant maker here, but that's a little bit tricky. Wait, maybe if I move my alpaca. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can do something. Because I don't want to move all of my field because I feel like I worked hard on this. So let me see if I can move my alpaca maybe a tiny bit. Ah, it doesn't fit here. Ah, uh, should I? Uh, what should I do? Okay, maybe no alpaca. Okay, like this. And then... Oh no, it still doesn't fit anyway. Um, okay, I feel like this... <laughs> this is so much work. Um, okay, should I move? I don't want to move them. They're like all centered and nice. Yeah, and I can't move them because this one's not... Yeah, um... Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put the other powder maker somewhere. Maybe here, right? Instead of this. Okay, it's a lit well, it's hidden, so that's good. Uh, it's, it's not too bad, right? And I can put that thing. Oh, it's the same size. I'm gonna put it somewhere. So, okay, I'm gonna put the. Sm oh, wait. I'm gonna put the big one. I'm gonna put the big one here. I'm still gonna use the small ones. Only small lag, little echoey. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Let me check something. I don't know why it's kind of choppy like that because it shows as if the connection was good. But I can see that there's definitely some choppiness a little bit. Also, there's the frame rate of the game, <laughs> which is not. Uh, by default, it's not really great. But. Yeah, I think it's a little bit of the game and a little bit, a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not just the game. Hopefully it's not gonna last too long. just happens to have a super farm with lots of stuff yeah you know what I feel like a lot of people are telling me that they're scared of decorating their farm because of the frame rate but to be honest I have not noticed any frame rate drop like like any difference in frame rate drop between like a decorated farm and just the default like just non decorated farm honestly I don't see the difference Like, I feel like, like when I was year one or year four with all of this stuff. I do notice when there's a lot of crops, like around this area. But other than that, I don't really... I don't think it gets that much worse when you decorate more. So if some people are scared of decorating, don't, don't be too scared. So I'm going to put all of this... In, I'm going to sell my mayonnaise because I've been hoarding my mayonnaise. I've... A little bit too much. I make 42 a day. If the animal's heart are already full, are we still obliged to pet it every day? No, you don't have to pet them. Um, because pretty much, um, yeah, their their hearts cannot go go down. So once they're high enough, you're all good. 
Did you see guys? I started kind of organi semi <laughs> organizing Like I think the first page is pretty good Everything else is kind of in my mind. It's a bit organized, but not too organized, but Anyway, it's a little bit better than <laughs> how it used to be So yeah, I think I want to Get level 10 in fishing. I want to get level 10 in cooking. So let's try to cook a few new things. How do you get more storage in the fridge? I have to upgrade your house. Ooh, pickles. Um, yeah, you have to upgrade your house. And for each house upgrade, you're going to get one page for the fridge. I'm trying to see if there's any recipe I never made. Gratin, I think I never made just to get more experience and make sure I cook everything Hi Satoshi nice to meet you Welcome to the stream All right, so Let's go to bed it's cute to pet them anyways when you have time. An alternative is to just let them go outside and they will be happy. Yeah, it's cute. But <laughs> yeah, there's no you on unfortunately a relationship system. Like the heart system with the animals is really really simple, so it's never gonna go down. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I just upgraded my house to the cabin yesterday. Yeah, so for each upgrade from now you're gonna get one extra page. I find it really frustrating that even with a fully upgraded house, there's not enough fridge storage to have one of everything. Yeah, that's one thing I was like yesterday. I was trying to organize my fridge and like, especially like for the different fish and the different like vegetables and like there's really, there's really nowhere near enough space to put everything. Unfortunately, I wish we had I don't know, six, seven page, eight page. I feel like we need a lot more pages, especially if you want to keep like cooked recipes. But yeah, it's good to have like a chest in front of your house. Like I can put some extra stuff in here, but yeah. So let's check on our seedlings. Actually, let me see. Yeah, let's check the seedlings. Okay, we still have a little bit to wait By the way, I still <laughs> so I don't know if you saw in yesterday's video, but I finished my fish collection But I'm missing one fish in the museum and now I don't know which one it is So I've been trying to fish and kind of figure out which fish I'm missing But it's really hard <laughs> and I have no idea which one I'm missing I have a chest outside for fish and one for cooked foods. Yeah, I think that's That's good. It, it's a good thing that at least you can put the food in the chest. You don't have to put it in the fridge Otherwise that would be really troublesome They need a list in the main menu. Yeah, or even if like in the encyclopedia If you had like, you know, like in, in New Horizons, there's like a little icon if you donated something to the museum I wish there was just a little something like that that shows you if you've donated it or not Hi, hi Sarah, hope you're doing well Oh, we forgot to pick this up. Oh, actually Yeah, I'm kind of okay. Yeah, let's pick everything up actually Let's harvest everything 
Oops, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I has. I still have some these this cherry trees misplaced. But yeah. There's not too much, I mean, there's not too much motivation at one point to harvest everything. Because I'm approaching 7 million now and I don't know what to do with this, but... Yeah, I'm hoping in some kind of update, or uh, maybe with one of the DLC, we're gonna get expensive things to buy. So, I'm saving my money for that, just in case. It's so laggy. Oh no. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what's up with this stream this morning. Are you going to make some guacamole and chips? I don't think there's any guacamole recipe, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's laggy like this. How to get the tree seed maker recipe? You're gonna get it when you reach our charting level 6. So it takes a little while, but yeah, it is definitely um, worth it. So when you get the big, like the big fruits, like the giant avocado or golden peach or golden apple, these give a lot of seeds. So they're a really, really good way to make. A lot of money every day. And I want to complete the encyclopedia. So I think there's some jam that I have never done. So I want to make all of the different jams as well. And... Yeah, I want to make another big... I want to make another giant seedling maker too. So I need clay. I need 500 clay. I think I'm getting almost there. I just need 80... 80 more and then yeah let's make some wood Iron. Yeah, I can't wait until 1.0.5. It should be coming sometime this month. So hopefully within the next 20 days or so, we should be getting 1.0.5. And I can't wait to see what they finally do with these makers. If I could just come here once a week and fill up all of my makers at one time, that would be so good. If I want to marry Reina, what's her favorite gifts? I think she likes lemon, so yeah, she can grow some lemon. I think that's an easy gift for her. Are there only two kinds of chicken? Yeah, there's only the regular chicken and the silky chicken, unfortunately. You know what? I think I can sell these. I'm gonna make some coffee powder for Dunhill and everything else. Okay, and let's put that in the fridge. I think I have avocado in the fridge, but they're like six star or something. So I'm going to make sure. Oh, I forgot to harvest my apples, actually. Just how far along are you with the museum treasures? I got all the animals and fish, but I'm having trouble with the last three treasures. Um, So you're further ahead than me with that for sure. I'm still... I'm going to show you. Maybe I can do a little museum tour. Um, okay, let me actually, let me make some coffee powder and orange. Okay, let me, okay, let, yeah, I'm going to put my tea here and I'm going to put my banana here. All right, so I'm going to sell these six star avocados. 
how do you get golden eggs so you can get this like the egg plus you have a small chance every time you get eggs but if you have the, the further in the generations that your chickens are so if they're like second generation third generation and like whenever you go up in a generation you have a higher chance of getting the plus version so that's how you get those uh what what am i doing oh yeah coffee i want to make coffee I just need to make sure I want to water this. I want to have some <laughs> flowers for the farm tour. Actually, I feel like this area looks a little bit messy. I kind of want to redo it. But, yeah, anyway, so let's take care of our animals. Let's get some milk. Also, I'm kind of running short on butter and, like, all of these products for cooking. So, I'm going to do that. Ah, uh, I think, <laughs> I think I might have forgot something yesterday, so... All right, so tomorrow this should be fine. Okay, I just want to make sure I have enough food in my... Oops. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I have enough food in there. Yeah, my cows. I've been neglecting <laughs> my animals a little bit because... They just take so much time to take care of. So let's see if my sheep are upset too. Oh, okay, so these are fine. Yeah, as you can see, I almost... Almost never shave... My animals. And okay, all right, let's go out. And also, I have some stuff here. So I'm gonna move all of this to my winter garden because that's where it's supposed to be, but I never properly moved it. And now let's check on our chickens and hopefully the chickens are not, I think yesterday they were fine, right? So I think the chickens are good. Oh no, I want to keep, no, I want to keep my uh, <laughs> fruit in the trees because I'm, I want to do the farm tour. And you know what's annoying? Like these ponds always spawn in the same exact spot. So I always have a pond here. Like it used to spawn here. So then I put the chicken and I thought, okay, the pond's not going to spawn anymore. But it just keeps spawning, like, it just decided to spawn a little bit further. So there's this pond that always spawns. And there's another one, which is... Like here, it used to be in the corner, so I put a tree. And then it started spawning around the, like, behind it. So I let the tree... Anyway, no matter what I do, it's always, <laughs> always gonna spawn somewhere. So... Yeah, and I've been kind of trying to let the grass grow, like removing the trees and just letting the grass so it looks like fodder, but I don't have to take care of it. But yeah, let's see how that goes. There's different color wood. I could have had a pink sheep or purple. Yeah, there's a few different. So for the sheep, there is like, there's, 
the Sifolk sheep, the regular sheep, and then alpaca, there's like a brown alpaca, the regular one, and rabbit, there's white, there's gray and pink, so yeah, you have to make sure you have at least one of each, because they all give you the different wool. So let me go to my winter garden. Part of me likes the puddles by the barn and coop because it looks like a drinking area for the animals, but they are annoying too. Yeah, I guess that's a <laughs> that's a good way to see it. But I don't know. I just want this area to be kind of empty. Like, you know, but there's really not much I can do about it. It's kind of weird. The background sounds still okay, but the screen is laggy. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm... Like, I'm not getting any warning. Like, usually it tells me when the connection is kind of bad. But it's really just like... The picture, like, is really choppy, right? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Okay, I'm gonna... So this one is a three... Okay, I'm gonna use up the three star. I need to make hot chocolate for... Oops. I need to make a lot of chocolate for Hina, so I'm just going to use up my 3 star one and then I can replace it with a 6 star. I was kind of shocked the first time I held the food in front of my animal, it has both eaten fat. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if I should kind of reset my modem and hope it works or I have been deceived I could have had a pink sheep yeah pink sheeps would be really cute but we don't have them unfortunately okay let's put everything away actually I'm running short on grass let me get some grass in the grass place here especially i feel like the regular grass i'm running short because i've been making a lot of rope for fishing nets and they use up so much so much grass so sometimes you think you have too much grass but actually there's never too much Okay, let me try. It's really choppy, right? You know what I should try? Mm. I got bitten alive by mosquitoes yesterday. Oh no, even through my jeans, I have huge and red welts all over my leg and a few on my arm. Oh no, I hope you're, <laughs> I hope you're okay. Make sure you put something, some cream or something to relieve the itchiness. Okay. You know what we're gonna do? Okay, let me let me just try to see why it's having issues. I'm looking in my settings. And I'm trying to figure it out. And... Hopefully... Like, there's a lot of settings that I can't change while streaming. So, I'm not sure if I would have to stop the stream. And just redo it. Okay, just give me like one minute. Oh, 
Okay, I think it's better now. Okay, is it better? Let's see. I changed something, so <laughs> let's see if it's better. Hopefully it is. Guys, I don't want you guys to go through that. No, it's not better. It's not better. Hi, Susanna. Hope you're doing good. I'm sorry, you're kind of you're kind of arriving at a bad time. We're trying to fix some uh, frame rate issues. Um. Oh. I think I'm really dumb. Okay, I think <laughs> Okay, I think I just figured out what happened. So I had my Streamlabs open for like recording, of course, for like streaming. But I was also recording earlier and I have my Elgato, like my capture card software open as well. So I had both Streamlabs that was recording, like streaming. And I had my capture card thing that was also like... Not recording, but like it was active. So I think there was, there was like too much going on. So I think it should be okay now. I'm really... <laughs> I don't know why I had that open. But... Hopefully it should be okay. I think it should be good now. I don't know if the volume changed for you guys. Is that game really low suddenly or... But I think I think it should be good now. So, alright, we're back. I think we're good. Um, okay, so I kind of lost track what I needed to do. It is worse? Mm, it shouldn't be worse. I'm so sorry I'm late. How was your brother's birthday, Josh? Everyone's doing good. Wait, how do you know it's my... <laughs> if you're... How do you know that? Did I talk about that? But yeah, my brother's birthday was really good, actually. Um, we had a little virtual... Kind of... The <laughs> virtual birthday. And yeah, I bought him Monster Hunter Rise. And he was really happy. It's gonna be his first Monster Hunter. And... Yeah, we had some dinner and some drinks and yeah, it was a lot of fun actually. You told us last stream. Oh, okay. I see. Sometimes <laughs> I forget what I say. I, I was sure I didn't say it. It's kind of quiet, but I just turned the volume up all the way and it's fine. Yeah, I think. Let me turn it up. And my micro I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my microphone a little bit higher. <sighs> I th think we save. I think we resolve the frame rate thing, right? It's smooth now. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. For I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying thank you, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I figured it out. And yeah, thank you for staying <laughs> through the choppy times. And now we're all doing good, so that's good. And okay, let me put everything here. I really I'm too lazy to make wool and like to make this stuff Okay, I don't have enough Okay mm, um, Yeah, I'm gonna have to mix these up a little bit. I don't know why I have fishing bait thing here and Okay, I rate Okay, let me make some wood. I'm gonna make supple wood because I'm always running short. I feel like everything needs supple wood. And I'm gonna make some iron because I'm always short on iron as well. Hi, how are you? Hi, Caleb. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good as well. Oh yeah, I need to make more bricks too because I'm trying to work on getting all of the treasures. So I'm gonna drain the ancient lake as much as I can. And you know, I'm just gonna sell these lumber makers, I think, because... 
I just don't need that much. So yeah, I just want to make a few bricks. And I should have coal lamps somewhere here. And I should have a few bricks. Oops. Oh yeah, and I need silver. Oh yeah, I need to go check if... Well, I don't have a lot of energy, but I need to get some Aurichalcum too. Just panic when you knew about his brother's bird. No, I was like, I was just wondering because I don't remember <laughs> talking about that. But I mean, in three hours, I have to say so many things in three hours. So it is possible that I, <laughs> I guess I talked about it. And okay, let's go to the ancient lake. <laughs> oh yeah, some people asked for the museum, right? So I'm gonna do a little museum tour to show you guys what I'm what I'm missing, because I'm missing quite a lot actually. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna make more pumps. I used to have lots of pumps, but I use them for the hydroculture plant. Hi, Ellen, hope you're doing good. I'm so glad to see the stream is so smooth now. Yeah, it was really weird, but yeah, I'm glad we figured that out. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna show you my, pro my museum of progress. Hey, just your new living room furniture looks <laughs> great from the yard, oh gosh. You guys are gonna scare me. Yeah, I don't even have a yard. Alright, so I'm gonna show you the museum. Alright, so my animals, uh, I'm missing the crab. Um, because last winter, so I, I did get the crab for a video, but that was a different save file, and the whole winter I couldn't get the eagle and the crab to spawn, so yeah, I'm gonna have to wait <laughs> one more winter for the crab. Hi, I'm new. Hi, Hasi. Hope you're doing good. Welcome to the stream. So, I'm missing quite a lot. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, I'm really missing a lot. Nine, ten. I'm missing ten here, but I'm gonna get that figured out. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can. And for the fish. Oh, I never see Reina here. And, well, I never come here, actually, that's why. And here I'm missing one fish. So I would have to go through all of the fish and check which one I'm missing. It's gonna be a pain, like really a real pain. So, oh, maybe it's, um, so clam, oyster, maybe it's one of the seashells. Oh no, mussels, I don't know. I have all the seashells. I'm trying to see like, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm missing. I can get the bluebird to spawn on some days, even though all the mirrors trees are fully grown. I think you really do need a lot of trees. Like for me, to get the bluebird, I had to plant like five or six trees, like really close to each other. Like I really needed a lot. I really need needed. <laughs> I'm trying to say how I can formulate the sentence. I really. It didn't spawn until I had a lot of trees, so yeah, make sure you really have a lot of trees. Ah, uh, this is... Okay, I'm gonna sell this. I never do the request. They're just not worth it. Um, yeah, you really need to make sure you have lots of trees, like six or seven. 
So yeah, I'm not sure which fish I'm missing. And also if you remove... I don't know if your hydroculture plant is still there, but I would recommend moving it if you can. Um, yeah. Otherwise it's gonna be really, really hard to get. Okay, I'm gonna sell all of that. I'm gonna sell these. This, this, and this. And uh, gonna make more seeds. Actually, I do have. Um, so currently, I'm working on. You know what? These six star seeds, I can just sell them. Actually, I wanted to keep the six star seeds for a video, but I. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep them just in case. So, leak. And maybe I can make some sweet, but I want to make strawberries. Okay, and let's harvest everything. So I haven't harvested stuff in there for a little while. So there should be a lot of stuff. So yeah, currently I'm trying to get, especially uh, now for Lovett's recipe. Uh, since I need all the rainbow quality stuff, I'm trying to get the 10 star crops for all the different crops. So I think my strawberries are pretty good now, but I'm gonna have to work on my, my cucumber is pretty good. But my corn, I'm gonna have to work on that. And my onions as well. And pretty much everything else. I don't have a lot, to be honest, I don't have a lot of 10 star crops. Someone asked, <laughs> I was a, there was a comment the other day, someone said, why don't you have all, why don't you have all 10 star crops already? But yeah, I didn't focus too much on that. I feel like I, every season I just planted like the most valuable crop most of the time. And I just stuck with just planting leek all the time pretty much. So my leek was 10 star because that was the most valuable one. My sweet potatoes as well, but everything else I kind of neglected, so that's why I don't have 10 star crops even after 10 years. Hi Josh, I'm 9. Hi Caleb. So I put that here. And yeah, so we're gonna make more seeds and yeah. All right. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of work to get all of the seeds. Sometimes I see, sometimes like on Discord, people share pictures and they all have 10 star seeds. Uh, I don't know how you guys do it. I guess one reason why I'm kind of slow with that also is because I don't have, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell these because I have the golden ones. Um. I think one reason why I'm kind of slow is because I just use like one seed maker. So I just make like one pack of seed a day. Well, not one pack, but you know what I mean, right? I only have like one, one seed, one maker working at a time. So that's why it takes me a little bit longer. I could be more efficient, but I'm not. So, all right. So you know what I want to do? Um, okay, yeah, let me get some clay. So I need clay f to make the giant seedling maker. I need to get to 500 and now there's... It's been raining, <laughs> it's been raining quite a bit recently. So I'm gonna get all of these. I saw Nintendo News just dropped an article about the story of seasons developers talking about more remakes. Oh, really? They said they are focusing on making new games, but 64 and A Wonderful Life are ah, are remakes they would like to look at. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I didn't know that. I completely missed that. I'm gonna have to look that up and <laughs> read. Oh my gosh, that would be so nice to have. I feel like Harvest Moon 64... Mm, as much as I love Harvest Moon 64 and I would definitely buy the remake and play it. It is similar to Mineral Town in a lot of ways. So since we already had the remake of Mineral Town, I, I know they're different, but they're still kind of similar. 
I would rather have a remake of A Wonderful Life. Oh my gosh, if there was a remake of A Wonderful Life, I would be so happy. Oh, that, would, that would be so good. I definitely... Oh my gosh, that would be so good. That would be so much fun. Um, so <laughs> looking forward to... That's just exciting. That's really, really exciting. Nothing confirmed, but they said it's just a possibility. I'll drop the link. Yeah, please put the link in the Discord. And okay, I'm gonna yeah, okay. I'm just okay. Let's find some puddle. Oh my gosh. It's almost okay. Let's go to bed Yeah, but it's good that they're uh, even like thinking about it. That's already a good Good thing, right? Maybe next year we can Have something like that Even just actually even just a port even like a simple port, I would be happy. But if they can remake it, like they re like they redid, uh, find uh, I was gonna say a final town, a uh, mineral town, that would be so good. I'd rather they remade Animal Parade. Yeah, I wanna. I never played Animal Parade, so uh, that I would be really really happy. Any game, actually. <laughs> Any game they would remake, I would be very happy. But A Wonderful Life, that would be really good. Animal Parade is still for a new though. Yeah, definitely. I think they would probably remake the older ones first. Um, okay, let's check our peach seeds. As I said, I, I've said it in previous videos, but even having like since it's the 25th anniversary, I'm still hoping for like a little surprise this year, such as like a little collection with like a few games in it. But I don't, yeah, I don't think that would happen, but that would be so good. Like a little collection with like Harvest Moon 64, Wonderful Life, and something else. Have to go stream, but I love your channel, Josh. Oh, thank you so much. Com comfortably glum. Thank you so much and enjoy your stream. I thought Magical Melody was uh, the more likely to get remade for Switch. Yeah, I would love a remake of Magical Melody. It was definitely one of my, if not my favorite. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, I forgot to pick up my apples. Yeah, let's pick up some apples. And Yeah, oh, and I think Oh my gosh, we got 90 clay in one day. Okay, you know what? I think I might be able to make the big seedling maker. Let me just go there. I'm not sure what else I need. I think it's like Mirage. Oh, we need Auricalcum. Oh, yeah, we need Auricalcum. So let me go here. Magical Melody would be so good on Switch. I enjoyed it on the Wii. Apparently, the Wii version was not as good as the GameCube version, though. Apparently, they, like, they removed some things, like changed, made some changes. So I would prefer if they... If they do make a remake, that it's gonna be more like closer to the GameCube version than the Wii version. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in and say hi. Unfortunately, I can't stay, but I can't wait to watch the stream later. Oh, hi, Caitlin. If you do watch the stream later, just keep in mind that um, it was really choppy for like the first 30 minutes or so. But after that, I figured it out. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> it's not gonna be choppy the whole time. Yeah, the Wii version was not good for Magical Melody. Yeah, I don't remember what was the difference. I never played it. It was someone on the stream that actually told me what the difference was. But, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of Oricalcum come today, actually. I haven't come here. 
I haven't came here in such a long time. And hopefully... I might already have... This and we got some diamond. All right, so I need ten for the um, seedling maker. I need ten or recalcum, and I think I need mirage wood. Let me just check to make sure. Oops. Yeah, ten mirage wood and ten. Uh, 200 mirrors grass and the grass is not a problem uh, It is a problem actually. Oh, no, I have 900. No, no, it's so the grass is fine and The wood is fine, but I'm still gonna make oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go cut some wood. Oh my gosh I don't have energy. Okay. Let's go eat something They did agree. I haven't played it for like three years. I thought it was good at the time. Yeah, the translation was different. Oh, I see. The Wii version was male character only and the controls were vastly changed. Yeah. You're at 7 million, you could buy some if you... Oh, that's true, right? Sometimes I forget that... <laughs> like, you can buy Aurichalcum at the store. But, I'm like, that's 50k each. But, just with my seedlings, I'm making 150 a day. So, I mean... It's not <laughs> not that big of a deal anymore. Yeah, I guess I could do that. And for yeah, let's go eat some thing. And then let's go chop some wood. Oh wow, when you get the ten star recipes, that's really good. Okay, alright, so let's go cut some wood. So once again, yeah, I could buy the wood. But um, I'm gonna work a little bit. Why did I not think of buying a Hamikalkam <laughs> at the start? I have so much money I'm not using. That would be a good use for it. Yeah. I don't know why I never think of that. I wish there was like... I feel like 10 level is too low. I wish it was like in Rome Factory where you can really level up really high. Even if it just like, I don't know, improved a tiny little... Even if there was not much difference, I wish there was still some kind of little incentive. Well, I guess the incentive is you're getting wood, but like another incentive for like leveling up. I just realized there's no bamboo in this game. Yeah. There's like the sugar cane, which kind of looks like bamboo, but there's no, there's no actual bamboo. I can't wait for the quality of life patch for this game. I haven't touched it in a couple of weeks because I can't with the makers. Yeah, hopefully it was supposed to be by the end of May. So within the next 20 days, we should have something. I just like... Can you imagine if one day we had like an open world? Well, more open world kind of story of seasons where you can like just go in the forest and like like a really big world, right? How nice that would be if you could go there. But anyway, let's uh, put that away. I can't wait for the DLC to release. Yeah, I think by the end of May also, so you guys are gonna get windswept falls and hopefully 1.0.5 almost at the same time so and then for the japanese version of the game we're gonna have part three of the dlc so what i've realized is i think part three of the dlc for the japanese version is just the school uniform like the school uniform for the bachelors and bachelorettes and nothing else but i think for the Western version of the game, you're gonna get like Windswept Falls and the four new characters plus the school uniforms like at the same time. 
I think that's what I was I was looking at the release of the like the release dates for the DLC and I think that's how it's gonna work so there's like one more part of the expansion pass for the Japanese release but it's just this cool uniform whereas you guys get them all together but yeah and I think after that, like the last, the last two part of the DLC, I think they come out in the same time for the Japanese version and international version. So, what is the best crop for spring year one? Um, I would definitely go for turnip just at the very beginning, but then that would be cucumber. So as soon as you can afford cucumber, go for cucumber. And then for year two, you can buy broccoli in the winter and then you can grow it in spring. But you cannot buy the broccoli seeds in spring, so yeah. Um, yeah, so what am I doing? Okay, so I need our accountant. I need... Okay, all right. So yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend my money. But yeah, maybe I should go buy some orichalcum. Let's see how much. Yeah, maybe I should buy some orichalcum. Just so I can get the giant seed maker. I hope they will bring back character portraits. Yeah, I hope so. I don't think like because character portraits are kind of a lot of work because they have to do the portraits and like because they do have like like the regular portraits, but they would have to make like portraits for all the different expressions and put them into each style. Like, I feel like that would be a lot of work. I, honestly, I don't. And they did not mention that that that's something they were planning to work on so I don't think I mean I would be very very happy if it did happen oops I'm on the wrong um, but I don't think that's gonna happen to be honest but yeah uh, but that being s oh my gosh that's expensive oh my gosh okay so yeah um, what was I gonna say what was I saying yeah, but yeah, yeah, indeed in Rune Factory 5 dialogues, the portraits look so good. Hi, what's the objective for today? So I want to build, I want to make another giant seedling maker. And I want to try to work on Lovett's request. So I just unlocked the fifth page. So I'm going to have to look through them. But uh, so I'm going to need to get my cooking to level 10. And... Yeah, I also want to try to get all the treasures for the museum and yeah, lots of like little things. Uh, yeah, lots of little things. That's expensive, the millionaire says, while still being rich yet. Yeah, well, it's still like more than like 15% of all. All I had just for it's gonna make like six in guts, so that I mean <laughs> I'm fine, but it's still kind of expensive. So all right, so let's make some bricks. Yeah, let's make some bricks. I feel like the character portraits are a lost cause for this game. Yeah, I think. They probably learned their lesson with this, like the <laughs> everybody was really mad about this. So hopefully in the next game, I think we're going to see the portraits coming back or just a better like if it's 3D like this. No, there's no excuse, actually, because even like Rune Factory is 3D and the models like the character models are better in Rune Factory 5. But you still have portraits. So, yeah, they can still. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I hope they can do portraits in the next one. I'm just glad this game sold better than Harvest Moon 1 World. Yeah, definitely. I don't think... <laughs> I can't imagine, like, Harvest Moon 1 World. Like, there's gonna be so many stores kind of stuck with the copies of the game. 
that they're not gonna be able to sell. But yeah, I'm not sure how many. I don't look at numbers too much. But I'm pretty sure Harvest Moon One World probably didn't sell too too well, right? Um, and then let's check our chickens. Also, I've been wandering recently, so once I get all the treasures, I'm gonna make a video, like a guide on how to get the different treasures. Also, I'm gonna make a video on like flowers. A lot of people still ask me about like flowers and honey, so I'm gonna make a video on that. But after that, I'm well, after that, I'm gonna be playing Rune Factory 5 for the most part, but I'm still gonna continue to stream Olive Town and make some Olive Town content when there's updates and stuff but yeah I'm kind of wondering what should I do next with Olive Town because I'm gonna have all of my guides and like my tips and tricks are gonna be mostly done so yeah I'm thinking maybe I should start a save file on the English version and I was planning to do maybe I can try something fun like I was planning to do like a no crop challenge or something like some kind of extra challenge I could give myself to make the game more challenging or like fun or like different so yeah I'm not sure I'm not sure what kind of videos what kind of <laughs> things I'm gonna make once all of my tips and tricks are done my friend loved one world I asked her if she was okay she wouldn't buy mineral town we're not on speaking terms at the moment oh no yeah, some people, well, um, if you liked One World, I'm happy for for you, but yeah, I also couldn't, I tried to give it a chance, I mean, I still bought the game, but I couldn't really get into it, and yeah. And I was really not expecting much for One World, but I still kind of give it a chance and try to like go in kind of unbiased and like really just give it a chance, right? A fair chance, but I I feel like there were some good ideas in One World, but just didn't that was not executed very well. Hi MJ, hope you're doing good. Also, I need to work on kind of leveling up my sprites because they're they're all at like seven. Oh my gosh, are like they're all around level seven or level eight. But yeah, uh, I want to bring them a little bit higher. Oh, uh, Pepper. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get all the 10 star seeds. So actually I should come here every day and that's gonna be um, I think that's the best way actually to get 10 star seeds. So let me get rid of some animals actually because I'm pretty full here so the first generation here bye bye fluffy I'm gonna get another pink rabbit soon. So bye bye bubblegum. Oh No, actually no, it's a bit well anyway. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and then here we have I'm gonna have to make another white goat soon, but Maybe we can get rid of a latte And we're gonna get another brown cow so we can get rid of cappuccino And Here yeah, that's pretty good and let's check our chickens so I don't ha like they're all giving me 10 star uh, eggs but I still want to get more like of the egg plus so I'm still 
making all of my chickens better. So maybe I can get rid of all the seventh generation. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, anyway, it's fine. And yeah, and then I'm gonna breed them. Okay, so maybe we can go to the animal shop. Oh my gosh, it closes at six. And it's gonna be. Uh, it closes at six. And tomorrow it's gonna be closed. So let me see if I can get to the animal shop in time. <laughs> it's all good. She's still my friend, but she's stuck with it and will not buy Mineral Town because she doesn't like the characters. But we're still. Yeah, I hope you're still friends. I hope. <laughs> the game is bad, but not bad enough to break friendships. I have the stone one at level 9 and gold is the highest ore it's given me, so I'm not hopeful that 10 can give a recalcum. Yeah, a recalcum you can get it once you reach level 42 of the third mine, or when you're. Uh, well, actually, if you're at level 9 of mining, you can get it from time to time. In. Um, the Stonebreaker Valley. I work in a game shop and most people still think today's our harvest moon is the harvest moon from old days. I gladly tell them about Seraph Seasons. Yeah, thank you so much, Besan. We need <laughs> uh, we need more people like you because I'm surprised a lot of people like on my Harvest Moon One World video, there's so many people like come and think like Oh I love Harvest Moon, like this is my like it used to be my favorite series and like it's now become really bad, but they don't know that a lot of people still don't know what happened so I feel like yeah we need more people like you <laughs> explaining to people that it's a different thing many of my friends are still not aware of the difference too in our country Harvest Moon's very famous back then even my housemate played it too she said it's her dream to build a farm too Ooh. Oh, are you from Indonesia? Because I know people in Indonesia always <laughs> tell me that Harvest Moon is very, very famous there. And that everybody played it, which is so <laughs> interesting. Hi, Jazzy. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I'm glad to see you here today. So, let's... Um, yeah. Oh, yes, I was right. <laughs> Yeah, how come it's so popular over there? Like for me, like in Canada, like Harvest Moon was always like a really kind of niche game where like and no one would know about this game, right? I was the only like I didn't have any friends who played Harvest Moon. Oh, we got a treasure. Alright, maybe we can go to the museum tomorrow, see if we've got anything good. You have so much money, <laughs> I'm jelly. Well, I used to have 7 million, but I bought some Auricalcum and... But, yeah, oh, maybe I could grow some mushrooms. Maybe I should take care of my mushrooms. Yeah, I need to improve my mushrooms because I'm... I don't have a lot of, like, 10 star spores, so I gotta work on that a little bit more. I feel that Josh, I'm from Canada and none of my friends knew the series. Yeah, definitely. But it's getting, I'm glad to see like, I think with Stardew Valley, the genre got a lot of like recognition and now a lot more people know about it. So I guess that's good. But yeah, when I was young, there was really <laughs> not a lot of people. Even I remember because my parents bought me Harvest Moon 64, but like we live in a small town and like they had a really hard time. Like, it was before you could really like just order things on the internet, so it was really hard to actually just find the game. It was really hard. Yeah, I don't have a lot of 10 star seeds. A big hello from a French island called La Réunion. Hey Josh, could you... Uh, could we please visit your house? Yeah, we can... I'm gonna go to bed in a few hours. I can show you my house. I hope uh, the weather is good at La Réunion. Here in Toronto, it's been like... It's getting a little bit kind of better, but it's been really cloudy and rainy. And... 
yeah so <laughs> i hope you're enjoying your tropical weather Honestly, don't know, but everybody seemed to be playing out on the PlayStation, no matter the gender and age. They even sold the guidebooks along with Game Shark cheats in the bookstore. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna sell these. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna go to the museum. Stardew Valley uh, has overshadowed the farm sim genre. Yeah. To the point that a lot of people think Story of Seasons is inspired by Stardew Valley. So, yeah. But that's a good thing, though. Stardew Valley is such a great game. I just never... Well, I did play it a lot when it released. but I And I know there are mods to change the aesthetic of the game. But that's... Even though I love... Like, I love pixel art. But I'm not a big fan of the... Like, the specific art style and, like, the character in Stardew Valley. So that's like one thing that I never got really, really into. I feel like that's that's my only complaint and like that's really subjective because I think objectively it's a really beautiful game. I think it's really well done, but it's just not my favorite style. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. So our Iric Calcum is not quite ready yet, but it's gonna be soon. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of people from around Toronto, right? I didn't grow up here. I moved in Toronto like two years ago, so I'm still... Still quite quite new here, but yeah. Okay, let's make some iron. I wish this game had better indoor decorating. Yeah, I wish we could like rotate stuff. Hopefully in some updates we're gonna be able to they're gonna let us rotate items. And just like more decor items in general. Hello Josh, recently my boyfriend and I bought this game and I saw your channel and subscribed to you because I love your videos, they've been so helpful. Oh, thank you so much. I'm always glad to hear my videos are helpful. So, yeah, that's good. Alright, let's go to bed. We're going to be out and about one day and someone's gonna recognize your voice. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes, um, yeah, someday that will happen whenever we can start kind of going back outside and like doing stuff maybe one day that's gonna happen mm -mm -mm. so what should I do yeah I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> anyway, let me let me I just want to put stuff in my fridge I need to get back into the game. I have the DLC, but I found myself not having time to even meet the townsfolk due to the makers taking me all day. Yeah, hopefully the makers, we just have a few weeks left with the makers like this and hopefully everything's going to be fixed in the next update, hopefully. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm gonna oh let me see because I have one one of the pond was completely drained so let me see if the the other pond is drained too are you playing on emulator on switch I'm playing on switch I don't have an emulator for this switch so I'm playing on the <laughs> on a real switch do Star of season have an active discord channel with the developers in it I don't think so and if the if the developers were in a Discord, it would be like all in Japanese. So <laughs> I don't think it would be useful to a lot of people. But no, they don't. I don't think they do. Um, whenever they have an update or something, they always post it on Twitter. I think it's like Bokumono PR or something like that. But yeah, they, I don't think they have any kind of Discord or something like that. How did you find that time to make your farm so pretty? The days go by so fast and the animals take so long. So honestly, when I... I think I took like one month in game where I just left my animals on auto feeder and I didn't take care of my... I just 
was decorating every day, like from morning to evening. And pretty much not doing anything else. So if you want to make your farm look pretty, you can either like try to <laughs> uh, try to decorate like one or two hours a day, like, and it, that's gonna take a long time. Or you can do like me and just take like one month and just focus on decorating every day. And yeah, so that's what I did. So yeah, some people were asking, actually one person asked <laughs> to see the interior of my house. So that's pretty much it. I feel like I still have to rearrange this area here. I still have to rearrange this. It's not too bad, but uh, yeah, it's not the best either. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I haven't played too much lately, been playing Animal Crossing. My sister bought me Mario Party, but waiting on the controller to get her. Oh, I see. Yeah, I've never played Mario Party on the Switch. I used to play Mario Party a lot on the 64, like 1, 2, 3. And after that, I <laughs> kind of stopped. Alright, so how much money did we make today? That's pretty good, right? I need to pay back that Auricalcum. Thanks for all the tutorial and tips. It just really helped me a lot in my first year. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to help you. And there's a pet race soon. So I want to make sure these two are good. It's totally <laughs> not normal to have all four dining chairs facing the same direction. Yeah, hopefully this can be... Hopefully, eventually, I'm gonna be able to move some of these chairs. I've seen some people... I think if you use tools, I think tools are a good alternative at the moment since they don't have any direction. But even like it's really hard to like in the living room I wanted to make like a little fireplace and like with like a rug and like a little table and like sofas But you can't like without being able to rotate the sofas. It's just like really It's really really hard to make anything that looks remotely good um, So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna work on my seedlings and then we're gonna go to the museum Thank you for showing your house. It's cute. Thank you. Are you going to get married? I will, but I think I'm kind of waiting. I'm not sure. I think I kind of want it. I'm interested in Felicity. Maybe I was planning to marry Yori at first and I want to see the new character, Matsuki, that you unlock. But also Felicity is really cute and I'm really enjoying the little cutscenes that you have in Windswept Falls. Uh, yeah, I think all the cutscenes are <laughs> really cute and there's a lot like there's a lot happening. Uh, I think they're really fun. So Yeah, maybe I can try Felicity or Neil or yeah, I'm not sure exactly yet. So I have 10 hearts with Yori, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit My farm looks abandoned because I have things everywhere not enough time to play Tetris with it. Yeah and like things spawn like the rocks and trees and everything just spawns too fast, right? It's been helping me a lot too and I enjoy hearing the way you narrating it. Thank you so much for creating these helpful contents. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you're <laughs> enjoying my narration or like my explanations. Hey, just just posted in the SOS gallery tab on this card. Is there any way you could post screenshot of your farm there from gameplay view whenever you have a chance? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me that. I might. So what I'm thinking I might do is, well, what I, I will definitely do is I'm going to make a farm tour with the normal view because I did one with the camera mode uh, so everybody can see better. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to post pictures on the Discord, so I might do that. I just have to like actually take the pictures. Maybe we can do that today, actually. Maybe I can do that, take these pictures right now, and after that, it's gonna be done, and I can post them on Discord. I tried to watch the farm tour video for Inspo, but I have vertigo and couldn't watch the whole thing. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I wanna do another farm tour. 
and like I changed a few little things on my farm so it's gonna be I'm gonna try to make it interesting for people that also saw the first farm tour but yeah I'm sorry about that Yeah, I really have to <laughs> really have to go to the museum. Okay, let me just I'm just gonna do the uh, recalcum. So I have five. And we need ten. I still like the video though. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm really struggling with design. I yeah, thank you. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's go to the museum. Yeah, and I want to film the farm tour before the end of... I don't want to do the farm... So my last farm tour, I did it in summer. So... I want to do this one in spring, because if... Like, I want to... <laughs> I want it to look a little bit different. So now it's the 23rd of spring, so I'm gonna have to do it before the end of the month. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to... Do that. Because also, like, I think the game doesn't look too good in autumn or winter, so <laughs> I think spring and summer are the only good times to make, like, a tour. Oh, I need to get them appraised, so while we do that, I'm gonna read the chat, because we're gonna be here for a little while. I have yet to finish converting my Mineral Town journal from paper to computer. Can't wait to finish my Olive Town one next and convert so that everyone can see it. Oh, yeah, definitely share that with us. I'm sure that's gonna be helpful to a lot of people. And yeah, I was surprised when I started to like make videos on this game and like when I started the discord It seems like a lot of people have like journals and stuff. So That's nice. Maybe I can do something like that for Rune Factory Or maybe I'm thinking for Rune Factory. Maybe I should do I don't know because I have everything in video form video format uh, But I'm thinking should I make I don't know I'm trying to think if I should make a guide on like yeah. Google Drive or something where I can kind of translate especially like Rune Factory 5 is gonna take a little while before it comes out in the West so I don't know if I should make a kind of little guide where I yeah. with everything and like tips and yeah and kind of PDF yeah. format instead of like in addition to videos yeah because whenever i make a video like i always research a lot and i end up like typing a lot and like making documents for it but i don't really share that so yeah i'm thinking maybe for rune factory 5 i should do like something that i share with you guys okay let me see if there i don't think there's anything new maybe there is i think the kind of uh key thing yeah oh that's a fan sorry that's a fan Would love a video on all of your secret island and what you have there and maybe your storage boxes that would be cool oh yeah that would be interesting that's a good <laughs> thanks for the suggestion if you guys have any suggestions like for videos or like things you want to see feel free to let me know at any time and like you can also like there's a suggestions um channel on discord so yeah always i'm always happy to hear what you guys would like to see I started I started doing the same kind of path you do with the trees in the center, but good lord, I get stuck so much I might change it. Yeah, I can't imagine, right? How do you do English so fluently? So my first language is French, but I started uh, learning English in third grade, and yeah, I always had jobs where I had to kind of speak English. So, but I think the main reason why is because when I was young, like games were only available in english so um i kind of had <laughs> i kind of had to learn english if i wanted to play games i 
I got all the white animals. I'm having trouble with the white weasel and the bluebird. Yeah, for the bluebird, you have to make sure you have lots of trees. For the weasel, um, usually it's gonna spawn in the same spot as the regular weasel. So it shouldn't be too, too hard. You make sure you have some trees, but usually this one shouldn't be too, too hard. So what should we do? Hey Josh, thanks for all your video. They really helped me. Oh, thank you. Did you catch tuna yet? Yeah, so I did get all of the fish. I finished all the encyclopedia for the fish. Uh, there's one fish that I forgot to give to the museum. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, but yeah, so that's all done. I should water. I should really water my tree uh, leaves. If I want them to look good for the tour I even thought <laughs> English is your first language it's so good oh thank you so much I think I think it's not good enough <laughs> to be my first language I think my accent is kind of obvious but yeah <laughs> I'm glad to hear that And yeah, I love this path here with the like all the flowers. And I wanted to get monkeys to spawn here, but I think well, I think there's too much stuff now. But um, I think I need more stumps than two if I want the monkeys to spawn. You know what? Let's try to. I don't know if I should cut the tree. I don't know because I never get the monkeys here. But they should spawn if you have stumps. Because the idea of this place was to have like a little, little kind of like monkey park. But maybe... Maybe like this they're gonna spawn, right? Let's see. Let, let's see if tomorrow we have some monkeys. English is my first and only language and you speak it <laughs> better than me. I don't think so. Your farm layout makes it look as if your farm is 10 times bigger than mine. Really? I wish, I still wish I had more space to decorate more, do more fun stuff. But yeah. All right, let's get some milk. butter some cheese how many languages do you speak so my first language is french and i can understand japanese as well um and yeah and english so three languages i wish i was I, I wish i knew more but yeah i used to have a phase where i was really into starting languages but i feel like recently i don't have too much I feel like all of my free time now is on YouTube, so I feel like I don't have too much time. Even I need to get back into studying Japanese a little bit more. And yeah. But I do love languages. Does breeding get you farm skill points? I don't think breeding gives you any points. Um, it just improves the quality of your product you can get. My friend on Twitch mentioned you while he was playing this game and he said your farm his goals but he gave up because he doesn't like the decorating mechanic. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Who's your friend? Is he 
Is he someone like I might know or? That's so interesting. I always wondered if like I don't know. I always wonder if other people that stream like know about <laughs> my videos or my farm. So that's good to hear. Okay, I'm gonna sell that. Okay, all right, this is super messy. All right, let's sell some stuff. I'm so tired and I don't know why. Mm. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe you can take a nap. Maybe you can watch the stream and fall asleep. And yeah, I always, <laughs> I always take a lot of naps during the weekend because I feel like I don't have time to get enough sleep during the week. I also learned the English thanks to video games, but my mom always denied it. Oh no. Yeah, video games are really good to learn. Just like for learning languages in general. But like nowadays, most games are available in most languages. So you don't have too much incentive. You don't like you're not forced. Like I was really forced to play my games in English because I didn't have any other option. But. Yeah, N nowadays, most games are available in multiple languages, right? So. Alright, I gotta head out, but this was a fun stream. Alright, Kay, thank you so much. I would love a nap, maybe after lunch. Yeah, I hope you <laughs> I hope you can get some rest. You have been my inspiration in streaming, Josh, for sure. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, are you start- So, I saw that you were planning to start streaming, so did you start? Let me know when you do. I definitely <laughs> want to check it out. Yeah, if I can inspire people to start streaming. If you've been thinking about streaming or making videos, you should do it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of work, especially at first, but it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, you should all do it. Not all, <laughs> but if you want to do it, you should do it. My kid learned to spell and read better by playing Minecraft. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, especially games like these where it's not like story heavy, like there's not too much dialogues, but you can like you can read the different item, like you can learn like food and like vegetables and like animals. Like it's really good for like even like like picking up a language. Like kind of basic like to learn vocabulary, right? Without like there's not too much grammar, but at least like vocabulary. I've been <laughs> wanting to learn Japanese just to get earlier game release versions. Yeah, it's still lots of Japanese games still don't <laughs> don't release internationally at the same same day same date. Did I get my seeds today? My seedlings. I always tell people that if they're already playing games, then they should definitely just stream it. Yeah. Well, I think. I think there's quite a bit of like difference between just playing a game and like streaming it. I wouldn't be able to like stream just for every time I play, right? Some people are able to stream like multiple times a day and things like that, but that's that's <laughs> that's not something I would be able to do, but yeah, if you like streaming and yeah, it's a lot of fun anyway. I'm not <laughs> not sure where I was going with that. I'll message you on Discord, I won't promote here. Alright, no problem. How did you learn Japanese? I used to live in Japan for like two years and a half and I went to a Japanese language school, so that helped. I want to learn Japanese and sign language. Oh, I want to learn sign language too. I mean, that's something that's very useful to know. And I used to be a flight attendant. And that's always something I wish I had. Um, like, I feel like that would be useful. Um, but yeah, I want to learn sign language. I remember when I was in Japan, I had a friend, he spoke like, he spoke like 10, he spoke like 8 languages fluently, I don't know how he did that, but 
Yeah, he taught me a little bit about sign language, but I don't remember anything. Oh yeah, some people are so amazing with languages. Like, but the more you learn, especially like the, the younger you learn, but the more languages you learn, like you just kind of pick up the patterns and yeah, it just becomes easier and easier, right? So after you learn, like learning a second language is hard, but learning a third one is a little bit easier and then four and then five, six. And like, it just gets easier and easier, right? Because you, your brain's making all of these connections, but it's still, <laughs> it's still, even though it's like, it's still not easy, right? It's still difficult, but that's just the, some people are amazing. So yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not, I'm not one of these people. Not yet. Maybe I, I would like to learn more languages. Did I jump in at the perfect time? My mom is deaf and used to teach ASL. Oh, that's nice. That she used to teach ASL. Yeah, I think it's like more people should. I feel like we should have like a basic like in school or basic of ASL like in school or something just so everybody like if you're ever in a situation where you have to use it you would make it would just <laughs> make things easier for everybody right maybe we can go mining no yeah ah uh, no we don't have, no it's already 6 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed and I think tomorrow we can maybe try to look up Lavette's quests and see if there's anything I can do. I used to work as a TTY relay operator for deaf phone callers long ago and I wish I could do more like some Oh, is that the oh my gosh. I Oh, why is there so much iron here? Hmm? I'm not sure why why is there iron here? Oh that's the one I broke here. Huh? Well why is it I don't know. I know I'm not sure. Um yeah, that's that I mean because I work like I take phone calls from customers where I work now and the other day there was someone from like that relay service and I have no idea how they do it because I was just like speaking to that person like it was like it was so quick it was really feeling like a normal conversation like it was feeling like if I was speaking with someone normally so they would I'm not sure how they do it like so fast and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how <laughs> how all of this works but it was just so fluent and like so amazing and I was just so impressed that was so yeah so impressive in high school I took Spanish but I don't remember anything from it except teddy bear <laughs> teddy bear that's so cute yeah if you don't use it it's really easy to lose a language you can pick it back up quite quickly if it has not been too long ago but yeah if you don't use a language like in Canada a lot of people learn French like they have to learn French and like, I don't know if it's in high school or elementary school but they don't use it right so they don't <laughs> like they, they lose it but as for me I had to learn English but I have to use it too so Basic ASL is great since my mom is deaf. My kindergarten class was taught the alphabet and numbers. Many of them still remember it, even though they haven't used it for 20 years. Oh, that's nice. You have to really practice to get a relay between the TTY colors to be seamless. Yeah, it was really seamless. I felt like if the, if the lady didn't tell me it was like a relay call, I would <laughs> I would have had no idea. Same with BSL. I learned a small amount. What's BSL? Are we getting the dialogue update soon? That should be for the end of May. That's what they're planning. So in a few weeks. It should be there in a few weeks. I took French for a couple of years and don't remember much. Yeah. Let's do some let's do some regular planks. 
Do you stream every Sunday morning? Yes, yeah, so I stream uh, every Sunday 11 a.m. EST and every Wednesday 6 15 p.m. EST because I finished work at 5 30, so that's why I have to start at 6 15. So, um, anyway, 6 15 EST on Wednesday, and sometimes recently I didn't have the time, but sometimes I do add a little extra stream sometime during the week, but that's not a guarantee. Well, I, I cannot guarantee any of my streams, but most of the time on Sunday and Wednesday, I am always here. Oh, British Sign Language. Oh, I s oh, is that not the same? I thought there was like an international one and then an American one, but I don't know. I didn't know there were like two kind of English sign languages. Uh. Many countries have their own sign languages. ASL is American, but it's most popular, but there's others like British, Polish, I see. Yeah, that's double the work, right? You have, you, you can't, <laughs> unfortunately, there's no kind of international. Hi, Josh, I'm new here. Hi, Randy, hope you're good. This game for PC or Android, it's only for Switch, <laughs> unfortunately, at least at the moment, but they have not announced Anything else? Auslan is different. Ooh, Austrian sign language. Why are there? <laughs> you guys all speak English. Why are there so many different sign languages? I'm guessing they must be similar in many ways. Like, hopefully, someone that knows ASL can learn, like, BSL and Auslan <laughs> easily, but yeah, I have no idea. That's interesting. Now I, I wanna, I feel like I'm in the mood for like a language class, like an ASL class. Okay, let's check our seedlings. My mom knows German, Polish, Russian, and American sign language because the first three were used at her deaf school. I see. And ASL because she's in Canada now. Oh, I see. Wow. That's good. I'm sure that's... Wow, that's useful. If she <laughs> ever encounters German, Polish, or Russian uh, deaf people... Okay, so we're just gonna wait for these seedlings. I feel like I'm <laughs> always having to wait a little bit for these. But they take 23 hours, so if I go there, if I do it now, then every day at 6 I'm gonna be able to pick them, pick them up. So I won't have to wait anymore. I had an ex who is deaf and struggled to learn Spanish sign language because he was so used to ASL. Yeah, I can imagine it. It must be kind of hard to. I don't know, because when you speak, it's easy to kind of separate the language. Even sometimes when you speak mul multiple languages, sometimes they get mixed up in your head. So, I don't know if you use sign language. Like, it must be hard to kind of not mix them up, especially if you're. Like, if you know, like, British or, like, Eng American Sign Language and they're both, like, English. I don't know. I'm off to take a little nap. Have a good, great stream, Josh, and have a good day. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your nap. I hope you get some good rest. I just wanted to say uh, hi. I use all of your videos for tips and I'm having a great time playing because of them. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Hope you're having a great day. I still have so many, <laughs> even though I'm making so many seeds every day, I still have like a hundred golden cherries. So I think I should make more small seedling makers, right, actually. 
they're not too hard to make. Alright, so let's check on our Ari Kalkan. I just have you tried playing Doraemon Story of Seasons. Yeah, so it was on sale the other day, like a few weeks ago. Maybe it still is, but anyway, it was on sale a few weeks ago. So I bought it and I played a little bit. I played like through the tutorial and I, I was having a lot of fun. It's really good so far. But I wanted to stream it and yeah, there's too many games I want to stream. So <laughs> I never went back to it. Are you still enjoying the game even though you're so far in it? I'm still enjoying it. Actually, I still am. Now I'm more like in the... Try to complete everything and try to kind of max out everything. But yeah, I'm still having fun with this game. Definitely. I wish there was a video game for ASL. Ooh. That sounds interesting, yeah. Even in ASL there's a bit of similar signs, so mixing up words is common. I see. But yeah, I'm really still enjoying the game so far. Alright, I'm just gonna sell that. And... Okay, let's check Lovett's request and see if there's anything I can make. Oh yeah, I want to breed my chicken actually. Wait, did I did I do that? I, I forgot if I did. I supposed to breed a chicken. I don't know if I. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, all right, we're good. Yeah, so let's see. So we're on the fifth page of request. So I took a brief look. Um. But it seems like most recipes I didn't have, but let's see these ones. Mm. Yeah, something, a uh, main dish with like cheese and vegetables. Um. Yeah, some of them I'm not too sure actually. Panna cotta, I don't have that. Kimchi, I don't have that. Um, yellow and sour and sweet soup. Yellow, sour and sweet soup. Okay, let's try to do that. Yellow soup. Let's see if there's anything. Sour. Yellow and sour soup. I guess this one. Mm, and hot. This one could be, but it's sour and salty, so I don't know if that works or if it needs to be just sour. This one is sour and salty. Oh, this one is cold. Like, this one is kind of yellow, but it's also spicy and salt. I don't know if it needs to be just sour. Like, this one is salty. Um, sa s sour and salty, so I don't know if that works. I don't know if it's yellow or not. Yeah, that's kind of hard, right? How do you unlock more recipes? Yeah, by leveling up your cooking skill. And then this one is sweet and sour. Sweet, sour, spicy main dish. Sweet, sour, spicy. Black and white. Main dish. Black and white main dish. Um, okay, let's see. Mm, sweet, sour, spicy main dish. Sweet, sour, spicy main dish. Main. 
Uh, sweet, sour, spicy. Sweet, sour, spicy. Yeah, maybe I don't have it. I feel like there's a lot of recipes you need to be level 10. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it don't even have it. I, th yeah, I think. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cook stuff and try to get to level 10. And I think at level 10, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna unlock the recipes that I'm missing. So I'm gonna cook stuff I've never cooked before and hopefully it's gonna give me a lot of experience. Yeah, it's definitely one of the longest skill to level up. But I'm almost there. I live in Toronto and the sign for the CN Tower is the middle finger. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds not good. Um, all of these, I've already made these before. I might have never made this mochi. Let's do this. If there's anything new in here, cornbread, I don't think. Oh my gosh, I, I, I've been, when I was young, my mom used to make cornbread sometime. And I don't think I've I had that. I don't think I've had cornbread for like 20 years. I just had a little kind of wave of nostalgia just hitting me <laughs> right now because I didn't eat that for so long and like the taste just came back to to life to life in my brain I haven't had that in such a long time I don't know if it's hard to make I don't even know how you how you make cornbread it's just like corn flour and like I'm not sure I'm not sure Oh, shrimp toast. Oh, that must be so good. That must be so good. Oh, shrimp toast on cornbread. That must be even better. I want to pick up something for lunch today, but there was a spider in my car earlier and I don't know if it's still there. Oh my gosh. Well, if you... Oh my gosh, that's scary, right? When you see a spider somewhere and you know... You don't know if it's still there. That's the most terrifying thing. I hope you're okay. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I had a dream last night. It's kind of so. I really, I'm really scared of spiders. I really don't like spiders in life. So, I don't know, I feel like that <laughs> that's not going to make any sense. Because um, it's a dream that didn't make any sense. Anyway, I dreamed that I was in a field. And Elon Musk was there. And he was investing in this agricultural company. Like, they had, like, they were making some electric 
like harvesters. I don't know why I had that dream, but yeah. So Elon Musk was investing in this company that was making electric harvesters, like the big tractors. And I was in the field and I was standing in the field and I was so scared because I don't like spiders and I had like the grass was like as high as my almost as high as my shoulder so like my whole body was in the grass and I was so scared that there's gonna be a spider in the grass in the field and I wouldn't be able to see the spider so I just wanted to get out of that field and <laughs> that's pretty much it that was I, I don't know what I was doing there but yeah, that was my dream of being in the field and having being scared that there was going to be a spider. So, all right. So let me see if I, maybe I made something for him by accident, but I don't think so. Yeah, all right. So I'm just going to sell all of these and let's see how my cooking skill, oh, maybe like 30% there. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is really random. <laughs> I don't know why I had such a dream, but... I went to do the spare room and came out to shut the door. Spider right there next to the handle. Oh no, I cried, fell over <laughs> there, rolled up duvet and just lay there crying till I managed to shoo it in the spare. Oh my gosh, that sounds so terrifying. All right. You know what I should try? I want to figure out what fish I'm missing. Yeah, I'm... Okay, what should we do? What should we do? Maybe I can do some fishing. I just want to improve my fishing scale. And maybe I can get the fish that I'm missing, which I don't even know which one it is. Time to go lie in fields and wait for Elon Musk to show up. Yeah. I don't know why I was involved in that situation. But yeah, it got me thinking. I don't know if th I don't think there is any kind of electric. Uh tractors like electric harvesters like this right i don't think i don't think that's a thing right so hopefully <laughs> hopefully he can get working on that that would be pretty good so yeah i unlocked the fisherman's island not too long ago actually it's quite useful to have this area because there's a lot of fish here that are usually like seasonal fish that you can get year round and there's some, there's the, like the giant squid that you have to get here. So there's some, so you're not going to be able to complete the fish collection until you're at least level nine in fishing, right? I was home alone, so I had to pluck up the courage to shoot it. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Ten star. Hello, I just joined the stream and wonder if there's anything else you try to achieve. I thought you've achieved everything in the game. Yeah, well, I'm trying to complete Lovett's quest. And I'm missing one fish for the museum. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is because... I did catch them all once, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, I'm trying to make more seedling makers, just to make more money. And I'm trying to get the 10 star crops. Let me see if there's any 10 star seeds I can buy. So yeah, there's a few little things I'm still <laughs> working on. Or duvet is your comforter, I think. Yeah, I know what... I don't know if sometimes uh, since English is not my first language usually I don't know if like 
I, I, I most of the time I don't know what's British English, what's American English. So usually, most of the time, both terms I can understand quite well. But yeah, because in French we do say duvet as well. So that's something. That's something I <laughs> I understand. So. Nah, yeah, right, not too much interesting here. Let's just sell everything, I guess. A duvet is like a pillowcase for a comforter. Oh, I, I don't know. Is it not the inside? I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Even in French, actually, I'm <laughs> confused with these terms. Like this and then like this and yeah I'm not sure what to do actually <laughs> I'm not sure what should I focus on I feel like I'm doing a lot of like little different things but I'm not too sure if I should work on something specific so tomorrow we're gonna get the big seedling maker and then yeah, I want to make sure my farm is ready for the tour. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save because I don't know if it's going to be rainy or anything else. Um, I'm just going to save because I want to keep... Um, I want to make a video like for the farm tour before we go in the summer. So we might go in the summer during today's stream. So I just want to have a save before. Oh, yeah. I'm running short on like salt and sugar. And yeah, okay, all right, so let's go to bed and yeah, <laughs> we're gonna make it a little bit of a shorter day. Oh, I want to see, let's go to the, yeah, let me, oh yeah, let's make some bricks and let's go to the ancient lake. I want to make a pump because I have three pumps there. I want to have a few more. So I should have, I think, some bricks. Yeah, all right. Let me make sure there's some bricks here. Oops. Oh, uh, I don't have enough clay for my big seedling maker now. So I'm gonna have to go get some more extra clay. Okay, let's make a pump. And I think... Yeah, alright. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that Auricalcum. And then after that... I'm gonna have, okay, so I need 200 grass like this. And I need 10 mirage planks. And, oh no, I'm missing. Oh wait, no, no, I'm good. Okay, so all right, so now if I'm not wrong, I just need a bit more. Yeah, I just need a bit more clay. So let's go find some clay. I should be able. There's probably enough. I just need like three or four puddles. I'm only a week or so into the game, and everything you have going on has inspired me to play more. That's good. I'm happy to hear that and I'm happy I could inspire you. Maybe give you some ideas for your farm or just <laughs> give you the motivation to work. 
Adjuve is basically a comforter with a cover on, whereas a comforter is just one quilted piece of fabric. Oh, I see. Thanks for the <laughs> clarification. I think I needed ore fish for a recipe, right? So I'm gonna go... Was there a re Yeah, I feel like I needed ore fish for a recipe. So from 9 p.m. you can get ore fish from 9 to 12 in Ocean of Area 2. So maybe we can try getting some ore fish tonight. So yay, I made another giant ceiling maker. So I have three out of five. So I can make two more, but now I'm short on clay. So if you want to do that, make sure you have a lot of clay. Make sure you hoard your clay, you don't sell it. Um, because yeah, it requires a lot. So I'm going to place that. I'm not going to put seeds until tomorrow because I want to make sure all of, they're all like synced at the same time. But yeah, that's pretty good. So just going to need to make two more. Oh, actually, I'm not going to place it now because I, I want to move. I want to move all of them. So, okay, let's go get our ore fish. And yeah, I feel like I don't have enough space in my... Okay, let me make some space. My shipping bin is full, so I'm just gonna have to put some random stuff here. Plus, a comforter is usable from purchase. We have to put on a duvet cover. I see. I see, I see. Alright, so I'm gonna wait until 9. Okay, let me get some more clay actually. This area is just super messy. Yeah, I'm still not getting the monkeys to spawn in my other area, right? I think I'm gonna leave the stumps like this here. Just so the trees don't spawn back. As long as they both work for <laughs> warmth and comfort, doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it, <laughs> it does not matter too much. Will you be playing more with a Pacha when the Alpha is updated at the beginning of June? I definitely will. I want to even before before the update. I want to play more. Um, I just didn't have um too much time to actually play. But I do want to play more with a Pacha and I want to stream it as well. But yeah, I haven't had time to to stream it too much. At all actually, but yeah, I would like to stream it. And I think there's going to be a new season, right? They're going to add summer. I think that's what they were saying. Like, So th they're planning to update it every eight weeks. And I think... Every time they're gonna add like one season. So in for like in a few months they're gonna be able to have like a full gameplay loop. Cause now it stops. It stops in spring, right? On the 28th of spring. Did you ever find your multiplayer group for it? I did not, unfortunately. Thanks for asking. So a, a few people have told me on Discord that they wanted to play. And then I made a post asking for people, but that, like that never like really worked out. So <laughs> I'm not sure who. Uh, yeah, I still don't have a group. <laughs> I still don't have a group for Rusa Pacha. Summer and milking the ibexes, some dialogue and an event. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm still. Um, I'm like on the tenth day or something, so I'm still very very early. So. Yeah, I still have a lot of things to do. I don't know how much there is to do in the first spring, but yeah, I still have a few things to do for me. I, I just got my first animals and that's that's it. I didn't do anything else after that. Okay, so I, I know there was a dish that needed the ore fish. Oh yeah, that was the soup. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, that fish is not really good. I don't think that's going to be this. Okay, I can use... Okay, let me get big leaks. Let me get the big 10-star leaks. A 
I think I can put some of them, half of them in my fridge. And I think I can sell the six star ones. I don't really have to keep them. Playing with one other person made the game so, go so much more quickly, but it was still fun. Yeah, I can imagine it must be very quick with other people. But that must be pretty fun. I never played... I don't play co-op a lot, like in general. So I never played also Stardew Valley. I would like to try in multiplayer. But... Yeah, lots of games. I never played multiplayer, but... I never played a farming sim with other people, but that's definitely um, something I would like to try. So I didn't get the rainbow quality. I think my beans are not good enough, and also my fish wasn't really good. So yeah, okay, let's go to bed. can be great with the right people yeah definitely of course of course I have to play with the right people but yeah hopefully uh, <laughs> I can find some nice people to play with um so yeah all right so let me put down my seedling maker so there's only three days left 26 27 28 yeah three days left to spring we're gonna do the pet race I don't know if I feel like my pets are not maybe not good enough but let's see I already won it a few times, but actually, I think I just got the gold medal. No, I think the first year and the third year I won, but the second year I failed. All right, so let's rearrange our seedling makers. So the three giant makers is gonna be pretty good, and we're gonna get new peaches quite soon. Okay, so I should be able to fit three big ones in here, right? I think. And I'm gonna put the small ones in my spring garden and my autumn garden. That is so good. So I can make two more. And let's see if there's any way to fit another small one. No, not here. Yeah, it doesn't fit. All right. That's pretty good. So we're going to go from... I was making 152 a day. So we're going to go with 152 to... I'm not sure how much we're going to make now. But it's going to be a little bit higher. And here, I'm still keeping the jam because I want to make all the different jams. So let's put this one here. And this one here. And the other one, I'm going to place it in my... I'm going to place it here and maybe I can put the jam maker in my spring garden. In my autumn garden. Oh, I never picked up my apples, by the way. Yeah, maybe I should go do that. I'm just going to make some space in my bag. Let me pick up my apples. Right, that's gonna be pretty good. Okay, let's sell a few things. Oh yeah, I need to go to the ancient lake and get some coal as well. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I had like a few hundred like at least a hundred coal lumps. I'm not sure where. I probably <laughs> put it in some chest somewhere. Right, okay, I have a lot. And 
then let's go here let's pick up our apples all right so i've got a lot to do here and i think yeah for some reason i don't have an olive tree here where i should have um yeah let me make some olive seedlings as well I'm not sure why I don't have that yet. Also, I think my... Oh, yeah, my grapes are 10 stars. Okay. I've missed a few streams, but are you going to choose a love interest if you haven't already? Yeah, I talked a little bit about it earlier, but... I kind of want to check out the cutscenes with the DLC characters, so... Yeah, first I wanted to go with Iori, but now I'm thinking about maybe Felicity or Neil. I feel like both characters, they were both my favorite characters in the new beginning. So <laughs> I'm glad they're back. So yeah, I haven't made a choice yet. And I, I know you can divorce, but I can't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to pick one, but I can't choose. Are the apples different colors? So these are golden apples. So they're more... If you have... You always have a small chance of getting them. But when you have 10 star seeds... 10 star seedlings, you have a higher chance of getting them. And... So when you put them in the seedling maker, they're gonna give you more seeds. So that's why I'm... That's what I'm doing with the golden peaches. Actually, I'm just doing it with the peaches because these are the most valuable ones. Um... So these ones I'm just gonna sell. I'm just gonna sell the apples. <laughs> marry the whole town, especially Jacopo. Yeah, I feel a lot of people want to marry Jacopo. Also, a lot of people want to marry Lars, Clemens, Beth. People, <laughs> people are greedy. But I think we have a pretty good selection, actually, of candidates in this game. So how much money am I making with these? 159 253 oh that's pretty good okay so let's go to the enchant lake and then i'm gonna go uh stonebreaker valley i feel like we're <laughs> i'm sorry i feel like we're not doing much today i feel like i'm just kind of grinding but yeah how many hours do you play star of seasons per day so right now i'm at 165 but I usually play like three hours on Sunday for the stream and three hours on Wednesday for the stream and I usually play to make videos as well so like a few hours when I make the video but in between that I don't I don't have too much <laughs> more time to play so yeah I play maybe Maybe in total, maybe like 10 hours a week or something like that. Don't feel like that. It's nice to just chat and chill and be able to ask questions. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for <laughs> reassuring me. Sometimes I wish, especially like at this point in the game, I feel like I've achieved like... There's not... There's still things to do, but... I'm not making like really quick progress every stream like I used to, right? Maybe there's some clothes. Maybe I should work towards making more clothes. I'm just kind of <laughs> doing random. Oops, actually, that's this one. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing very randomly. Because I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure which cloth I need. I'm not sure which one I want to make or not. So, just making a little bit of everything. Oops. And then let's see if I have some wool... This and then like this. Mm. 
You have great conversation and the chat is so wholesome. Even without lots of progress, it's still fun. Thank you. Yeah, the chat is really wholesome. Everybody's really always kind and nice here, which is what I love <laughs> about this community. All right, I'm really short on clay now. I'm gonna have to gonna have to get some clay eventually. this and yeah let's make some stuff so what am i missing i feel like i don't have a lot of oh yeah let me go mining okay so let's see we've got a little bit of our calcum I think that's it. I think we only had one, so just gonna free up some space and all right, let's go back here. I think I'm gonna work on making maybe silver. Maybe iron. I don't know. I need a bit of everything, so it doesn't matter too much. I wish you could just stack like 99, 9 in the wand maker, and then I would make everything. Like this, and then bricks. We're gonna need more bricks for more pumps. And let's make some wood too. So clay and mirrors wood. I don't have a lot, but I don't have lots of logs as well. Durable wood. Maybe we can do that. Right, so pretty happy with what I've did with my makers today. Let's put this away. Alright, so what should we do? Maybe I should go... I haven't seen the Windswept Falls people in such a long time. And actually, Hina is at almost 9 hearts. Downhill. You know, like they're all doing good. Felic Felicities, I don't have the... L like, I'm a little bit lazy to make the recipes that she likes the most. So she's a little bit behind. But yeah, <laughs> basically their relationships is going so much better than uh, with everyone else. So I'm gonna get silk. I'm gonna get uh, silky egg plus for Neil and Felicity. Uh, coffee beans for coffee powder for him, and I'm gonna make some hot chocolate for Hina. I made about 15 of each maker, and I feel like I'm filling makers 90% of the time. Yeah, that's why I don't like having too many makers because they <laughs> they take a lot of time. I couldn't stand to have more than what I have now. I married Reina, but found out that if you marry Yori to encounter Mr. Ricardo, yeah, you get Matsuyuki to move in. So that's something I would like to do. But it's too bad there's no like other way of getting that mystery character. And if you divorce. I think he's gonna disappear as well. Did Windswept Falls come with new outfits? I thought it was supposed to have new costumes. So no, there's no, there's no new outfits with Windswept Falls, unfortunately. That's yeah. 
Does the Felicity and Neil costume that are, I think they're available as DLC, like separate DLC that you have to pay for. But yeah, there's no new costumes. Right? But I think actually for the Japanese version, they're not coming with new DLC. But I, I talked about this a little bit earlier. But I think you guys are going to get the school uniform DLC at the same time. So I think you guys you guys are going to get the school uniform um when you get some windswept falls but for the japanese version it was just windswept falls and we're gonna get the school uniform at the end of may yeah he leaves if you once you marry so if you marry he's gonna come but if you divorce he's gonna disappear Yeah, and you're right, Elena. There's no rivals, right? So there's not to, like, <laughs> you don't have to rush too much. Let me see if, yeah, okay. Let me get some nice, beautiful eggs. Oh, I don't have the silky egg. Okay, let me go get some eggs. And oh, I have to buy fodder. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run short on fodder soon. Oh, it's not the same quality. Okay, I'm gonna keep the higher quality one. And okay, okay, I want some coffee for Dunhill. I hope they add it to the Japanese game. Yeah, they will. It's just they're because we're getting all of the DLC, like. The first two DLC for the Japanese version are one, one month earlier. But then you guys are catching up. And then for the last DLCs, it's at the same time. So I think we're going to get the school uniforms at the same time. And you're getting like Windswept Falls at the same... You're going to get Windswept Falls at the same time as the school uniform. So anyway. Um, yeah, anyway. In the end, all of the regions, everybody will get the same content. But it's just the dates that are like different. Can I let my animals out in winter? Yes, you can. You just have to. Um, you can only let them out if it's sunny. But yeah, it's gonna be the same, same as in winter. But if it's snowing, you cannot get them out. Yeah, it's true that the rivals kind of pushed you to work a little bit more on their relationships. I didn't care too much about... Well, I don't know. I d either way, I don't really mind whether there's rivals or not. But I like the idea that you don't have to rush. And you can take your... Like, you can focus on your farm and do your thing. And whenever you're ready to marry someone, you can... Oh, actually, I want to go here. You'll be lucky to get more than two sunny days in winter. Yeah, I think that's kind of something they did. So you don't put your animals outside every day in summer, uh, in winter, because it's going to be snowing most of the time. Yeah. Nah. And last but not least, we have Neil. Yo. Yo. And let's give him the silky egg plus. Mm. I remember getting upset whenever Sabrina married Vaughn in Island of Happiness. I restarted my game after that. Oh no. Yeah, that's. That's kind of the stress I think they want to avoid by removing the rivals. I never played the Island of Happiness. Maybe an option to turn rival on or off would be nice. I like seeing their scenes with others. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's one thing I like. Just um, like having other villagers kind of interact within between each other, right? 
That's one thing I liked a lot in A Wonderful Life, and that's why I want to have a remake of that game. Is like... You could see all the different characters, like, growing up, and like... Dying, and... I'm not sure if there were, like... I know there were new villagers moving in, or moving out. And it really felt like the town was very, like, alive, no matter what you did. Like, it was not, not just, like, centered around you, right? Everybody had their own thing and their own life. Oh, Ice Tiger Down, thank you so much. Ice Tiger Down, sorry. Thank you so much for the super sticker. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much. I'd love the rival system to come back to, but like have an extra character for whoever is left so that everyone gets married. I don't want any sad characters. Yeah, that's that would be good. A matchmaker system would be cool too, like based on your responses and interactions, the characters end up with a certain person. Yeah, that I feel like that would be a lot to ask, but that's definitely something ambitious that would be a lot of fun. I feel like we would need a game. Because I feel like Story of Seasons... Like... The relationship is not the main... Um, I feel like that's not what the developers put the more emphasis, emphasis on. But I wish they would make a game... I think... I didn't play too much of Kinseed, but is that what they want to do? Like, put more emphasis on like the characters and the relationships and like growing up and like things like that right i think there's a few farming sim games that put more emphasis on like on relationships and interactions between people but yeah that's something i want to see more of muffy was the go-to girl when i played yeah harvest moon ds i never played harvest moon ds but in uh, a wonderful life i used to go for celia she was very cute I loved how in Animal Parade, your rival marriages children were friends with your children. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I really want to play Animal Parade. Oh, so we're done with the strawberries. Do seeds get better that... Um, yeah, they're not... They're not any... It's the same as if you were on your land. The only difference is that you can plant stuff from any season. But the quality is the same. Once I'm burned out on server seasons, I'm gonna dust off my Wii and play Animal Parade. That's a good idea. I need to get my Wii U back. I need to go... Get my Wii U at my parents' place. Celia was number two. <laughs> yeah, I, d I was not a big fan. I don't know. I think... I wish A Wonderful Life had more uh, marriage candidates. Like, I feel like just three was really... <laughs> really limited. Compared to most other Harvest Moon slash Tower of Seasons. But, yeah, the character development and, like, the dialogues, I feel like, w were interesting. I would love to watch you play Animal Parade. Yeah. Maybe one day. One day we'll get the chance to go back to Animal Parade. Actually, I've never played it. So go to Animal Parade for the first time for me. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to check if I have bags somewhere. And maybe tomorrow... I'm gonna go to the museum and get everything appraised and see if there's any other treasures that I'm missing from the uh, bags for the heavy object heavy objects. I still haven't played Stardew Valley. I hear such great things about Dalag. Yeah, Stardew Valley is great. I want to play it more. I want to get back to it because I didn't play for like five years. Yeah, maybe one... I don't know. So, I want to stream Stardew Valley, but I don't know when. Because I want to stream Dodai Monster Ref Seasons. Of course, there's Rune Factory 5 coming soon. And I'm streaming Rune Factory 4 as well right now. So, 
I'm not sure when, but I would really like to stream Stardew Valley. Stream all the things. Yeah, <laughs> I want to stream everything. I want to do like... I wish I was one of those people that could do like a 12-hour stream. And like play a different game every three hours. And like we could do like three hours of Stardew Valley. Three hours of Dorai Monster of Seasons. Three hours of my time at Porsche. And then like Rune Factory. and But I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I would survive that. But that would be fun. I just need more time. Have you played the island update in Stardew Valley? No. So l last time I played Stardew Valley was in 2016. So 1 1.5, 1 1.4, 1 1.3, 1. Point All of these. <laughs> I have not really touched any of the updates. Yeah, that would be fun to do like a long, longer stream. Also, on the May 31st, which is at the end of the month, I'm gonna be... It's gonna be my first year. I don't know if it's something to celebrate or... I, I guess so. It's just <laughs> it's just one year, so it's not too much, but it's gonna be... It's kind of a... I don't know. It's nice for me, but... Uh, it's gonna be my first year on YouTube, so I'm gonna be celebrating my kind of like first year anniversary, YouTube anniversary. So, yeah, on May 31st, I think it's like a Monday, so probably on May 30th, like on the Sunday, or even on Saturday, but maybe sometime during that weekend, I could do something special, like a longer stream than usual, or... I don't know. <laughs> I want to do something special for that, but... I have not I have not thought about it too much yet, but I would like to do something special. Oops. There's nothing here. Same for me. I picked up I picked the game up recently and I was shook by how different it was. It almost feels like a whole new game. Yeah, I can imagine. I know there's like last time I played you couldn't even choose the like the layout of your farm. And now they have all of these, like the beach farm and like all of all of the different farms, right? Maybe the alligator gar. Maybe that's the one I never gave to the museum. Let me see. Yeah, I don't care too much. My bag is full, but <laughs> I'm going to check the museum. Yeah, might as well just take the eight star one. Ooh, lots of 10 stars. Yeah, okay, nothing too much. Nothing too interesting there. But... You know what? Let me... S yeah, I'm gonna go to the museum tomorrow. Let, let me just get rid of these. Just in case one of these fish I forgot to give to the museum. Milk fish. This one, flounder, I know. Okay, so this these ones are I know I already gave them, but... Yeah, so let's go to bed and tomorrow let's go to the museum. That's huge. Congrats. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's not huge. Hu well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I've been able to do this for one year and like I didn't. I didn't stop. I didn't give up or anything. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad to be still still be here and kind of survived my first year. So that's pretty good. And I can't wait for the second year to start and it's gonna be even better. Alright, so I'm gonna take care of my seedlings. Then we're gonna go to the museum. Out of your farm layout, it's so therapeutic. Thank you. Yeah. Now nah, I'm gonna go to the museum first. One year and you already have over 7k subs and on average 100-200 people watching whenever you're streaming. 
Yeah. Well, it was. It's <laughs> very recently that it started. It, like from March when Story of Seasons came out. That's when my channel kind of picked up, like really started moving. Because uh, it was very, very slow growth. And then I kind of had a little peak in March and April. And yeah, now it's kind of slowing down a little bit, but it's normal. But yeah, then Ruin Factory 5 is going to come out. So I feel like there's a lot of exciting stuff, exciting games coming out. So yeah, I'm very excited for the future. And yeah, very excited. <laughs> Can only get better from here. You're right. So let's see if we have anything new for the museum. So I want to see if one of these fish, if they're one of the fish that I forgot. No, I already gave all of these. Alright, so let's get everything appraised. Oh, thank you so much, Stephanie, for the super sticker. Thank you so much. My husband makes fun of me because I have a little field notes of journal and take notes. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super sticker. Yeah, yeah a lot of people have <laughs> notes on Olive Town, so don't don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, three more. I don't think we've got anything new so far. I think I probably have all the treasures you can get from the basic the heavy objects. I can't bring myself to commit on planting trees. Yeah, yeah planting trees is such a commitment because <laughs> if you want to, you have to make sure of your layout, right? You have to be pretty confident in your layout. And even for me, like when I planted trees, I feel like I'm happy with my, where my trees are, but um, a lot of them are like zero star seedlings. So I think I want to level up all of my trees. So at one point, I'm probably going to cut everything and kind of start just replant every tree just to have 10 tree, uh, 10 stars, seedlings, 10 star fruit. Oh, Jazzy Jazz, thank you so much for the super sticker. <laughs> that little lemon guy is so cute. Thank you so much. I've been putting my tree saplings in the Sprite seasonal garden. I like how it works so far. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think putting the trees there is one of the best things you could do because that's really how... Well, that's going to allow you to have fruit year round. So that's really the best thing you could do. I took your golden pizza's advice though. I just started making seedlings. That's good. If you can... <laughs> You can be sure that in uh, not too long, you're going to be making a lot of money with that. I think they're probably going to be ready soon. I might, maybe, maybe today actually the peaches are going to be ready for another harvest. And, oh no. But even in between the harvest, like I still have 87, so there's no way. Maybe once I have all of the giant makers I can have, I'm going to be able to use up all of my seedling all of my peaches between the harvests but now i'm gonna harvest them and i'm not gonna finish the first ones so you'll unlock the seedling maker at level six of our charting so it takes quite some time So today's our first day with the big yeah we used to make like 78 per day or was it 72 no it, I, we made 78 per day now 96 so i think we're almost gonna make like 200k i don't know close to close to that Let's see. Yeah, almost. Almost, but not quite yet. So we need to make another 
seedling maker, so I need lots of clay. Also, how is my cooking skill doing? Oh, we're almost half. Okay, maybe we can do some cooking. Okay, yeah, and also... Yeah, I just want to make sure... I want to check the weather tomorrow. Um... I want to see if it's going to be raining or... Because I have to do my farm tour without the camera view. Uh, good morning. So, today is rain. Tomorrow is sunny. So, I'm just going to save here. So, I made a save on the 25th, but I'm going to save here. I just want to keep it for my farm tour video. But for now, I think I'm gonna harvest everything. I'm gonna pick up all of my flowers and all of my crops and pretty much everything before summer comes. The plushie is so creepy looking, but somehow cute. Yeah, it is really cute and slightly creepy. <laughs> all right, so let's pick everything up, I think. I think I'm not gonna have enough space, so let me put some stuff away. The plushie is really cute. Okay, let's put stuff there. the wood here with my clay okay, I'm gonna put this here this shouldn't be here but no 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 let's not put it here otherwise I'm no let's uh, be organized I'm gonna put that somewhere else Trying to be a little bit more organized, but there's still a few items like I'm not sure Like my furniture most of the time my, my decoration furniture like this. I'm never sure where to put it and My seeds Pretty much at this point. I always have a golden peaches in my bag because they're like my Money makers. So I mean, let's harvest everything. I Love harvesting especially I love harvesting the fruit trees I don't know. It's just I find it so relaxing. Actually, this one is an apple tree. Um, I was supposed to change it for a peach tree, but I never did it. Also, I need to work on my flower seeds because pretty much I'm always using zero uh, zero star seeds for my flowers. But I'd like to have ten star flowers as well. Did you play Stardew Valley as well? Uh, so I did play Stardew Valley in 2016 when it came out. Uh, but I didn't have the chance to play since. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully we talked about it a little bit earlier, but uh, hopefully one day I can stream it or like go back to it and see all of the new experience, all of the new updates. Yeah, that's a lot of flowers. I think it's gonna look better in summer though. I feel like the summer flowers, I like when I have like the sunflowers here. I think that's what looks best. And the hibiscus looks so good too. So I'm gonna keep the tea. Just got a new title for picking up lots of flowers. Yeah, the tea uh, stays for until winter, right? So I'm gonna pick it up in fall.
I mean, it wilts in winter, right? Oops! <laughs> Didn't mean to pick that up. Alright, let's pick up my tulips. Yeah, uh, I've been playing Rune Factory 4 lately and <laughs> the harvesting in Rune Factory is so much quicker. You just pick everything up so quickly. Yeah, and as I said earlier, so I used to have eight fields here, but I kind of made it a little bit smaller, just six now. And it's more than enough. It's more than enough. So I'm gonna use these for cooking mostly. Because at this point, there's no like. Even if I sell everything, I'm gonna I'm not gonna make that much money, right? So I think I'm probably just gonna keep everything for cooking. Because I'm always I'm always like running short on vegetables and things like that. So hopefully that's gonna help. I think it's my first time actually I think it's my first time growing radish I'm not sure I don't remember I, I just decided to grow everything just for cooking and just for the sake of having a kind of colorful garden by the way there's one game I've been looking forward to recently is monster harvest I don't know if you guys have looked into it or if you've heard of it, but it was supposed to come out in May, but I think it's... Oh, I forgot that you can harvest garlic multiple times. It was supposed to come out in May, but I think it's being pushed back to July. It's coming out on Switch and I think PC as well. And yeah, I can't wait for that. There's so many, just so many great games coming out this year and next year I don't get why strawberries don't regrow in past games they did oh did they? yeah I feel like well in real life they definitely regrow because it's like yeah yeah I feel like they should regrow Almost done guys, almost done with this garden. Do you feel a little bit boring when you're already rich than when you started the game or with so many contents in this game you don't feel bored at all? I don't feel bored. I feel like there's still a lot of like I'm still working on the love it's requests and like I want to try to get 10 star crops and there's still a few things I have to do and decorate my farm but I'm definitely not as busy as like when I first started playing where I had so many things to do every day so I feel like it's a little bit more kind of slower paced if that makes sense because my farm is already pretty much fully decorated and so it's definitely different but I don't think it's boring because I'm still and I'm still very much enjoying the game and I feel like I still have quite a few different things to do. But yeah, I'm very much in the 
like kind of end game right now even though I'm still <laughs> I'm still not married but I am getting kind of closer to end game See, I'm gonna have to I'm just <laughs> getting I planted these orange trees very early so I'm just getting like three stars uh, oranges so I'm definitely gonna have to cut these trees and grow proper proper oranges actually I want to do like orange lemon orange lemon orange lemon so and alternate so in summer I'm gonna have the lemon and then in spring because i feel like now all of my almost all of my trees are spring trees so in other seasons i never i don't have anything in my trees time to make friends with the villagers yeah i still have yeah i still have a lot to do uh with the villagers do you have a favorite marriage candidate so i was planning on marrying iori and get the special character and also with the dlc i'm thinking also uh, felicity uh, blair blair and felicity both actually <laughs> so with the dlc windswept falls um i think felicity is interesting but yeah she also very she's very very similar to blair and both are interesting and neil is interesting too so yeah, there's just so many interesting characters, so <laughs> I'm not sure yet. All right, so that's for the flowers. Let's see if we have enough space. Yeah, we should be able to pick everything before the end of the day. Then we have some coffee. That's going to be good for downhill. So yeah, my relationships with the Windswept Falls people is good, but... The Olive Town, <laughs> the Olive Town people, not so much. I feel like we're all acting like when a mom is really wanting grandkids, everyone's eager for just to pick someone to marry. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, in my family, all of my like all of my cousins started having kids, like one child, two children, like so many. And it was just like me and my brother, like, we're not there yet. <laughs> and yeah, it's like a lot of pressure, but yeah. <laughs> the game gives you multiple of the fruits you would harvest in previous games over and over. Yeah, it's true though. Like strawberries, you get like three or four strawberries at a time. That's nice. Hi Josh, my school system just went down during finals week and now my finals might be cancelled. Oh my gosh, that sounds so... Is that a good thing or... <laughs> Is that a good thing meaning that everybody's gonna pass uh, no matter what? Or does that mean you're gonna have to do your finals like a li at, at a later date? Or... Yeah, is that a good thing or not? Oh yeah, I have to pick up my mushroom. Okay, let me... Me the mushrooms can wait a little bit. Just want to harvest everything. Everyone gets their, uh, their own time. I was 19 when I had my first kid. Most of my friends have only recently started having kids. Yeah. And I feel like it's different from... Like, in my hometown. Like, my hometown is more kind of rural area like it's a really small town and i feel like a lot of people like a lot of my friends started having kids some of them in high school but mo most of them like r it's quite soon after high school whereas after that I bas pretty much uh when i was 20 i moved to tokyo i moved like i moved to japan and over there just in japan in general but like in tokyo mostly like people are more like focus on their career and stuff i think like that's the same in most big cities and like people don't have kids like until like 30 or so and now i'm in toronto so it's pretty much the same here like people don't have that many kids like too early 
but all of my friends from school and all of my family they're all from that same like hometown so they put a lot of pressure on me even though like I don't know like <laughs> most people in Toronto like most of my friends here my co-workers they don't have children yet it's a good thing because I didn't study I have no idea but it might just be cancelled since no one on campus has Wi-Fi in the school's website and VPN aren't working I see well <laughs> that's good for you then I'm happy to hear that I didn't have a kid until my 30s got all my degrees first yeah I think that's good I mean it's all up to like ah uh, like whatever you're comfortable with but for me I'd rather focus on like my career and like having money and like making sure that if I have kids I can have something to provide for them like when when my parents had me like they didn't have a lot of money so like it was not always like the best circumstances but like I'm still glad they had me but I mean it was not like the best circumstances and I know that if I had a kid at like 20 I would have to focus give more of my time and energy to someone else right so yeah I think that's uh, yeah a lot of people yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but yeah, I want to focus on more like work, kind of a work person more than a family person in general. So yeah. Also, yeah, also my mom did kind of college. She did part of her college with kids, so I can't imagine how that must be really, really tough. That must be really tough. Okay, I'm going to sell my flowers. Now I'm gonna keep my flowers, just in case. Okay, let's put food in the fridge. Many of my friends from the small town where I was raised started having kids shortly after high school, but now in Toronto, many of my friends are nearing 30 and are single or don't want kids. Yeah, there's definitely a big uh, difference depending on like where you are, like from city and countryside yeah we need a bigger fridge we need a bigger fridge I think I'm just gonna keep the golden strawberries but okay cherries I already, mm, I already have okay all of my ready all of my recipes all of my food prepared food I'm gonna sell everything I'm gonna keep my mushrooms. I'm gonna keep my coffee beans. Alright, so let me sell everything. I can't imagine having a kid the same age my parents started having kids. Yeah, me neither. Nearly all of my friends have children or are having children 21, 22. My parents had me in their 30s, but I at least want a stable income. Yeah stable income and like stable relationship and it's less stressful right because just having <laughs> having children must be really stressful so I want to make sure I have everything before everything else figured out but it's also good either way like if you're it's really up to each person like some people have kids at 16 and like everything turns out perfectly fine right so it's all up to yeah different for each person i wish the storage boxes link to a larger system yeah definitely i wish they were connected i, I wish maybe they could do like since there's different types of boxes if like for example all the wooden boxes would be connected together and like all the stone boxes would be connected together so it wouldn't be like too overwhelming it would be like a hundred boxes but you would have like up to 10 boxes connected oh we forgot the pet race well oh no oh no that's gonna be today okay yeah we didn't forget the pet race 
So on that note guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. So I'm gonna go eat lunch. And yeah, thank you so much for joining. Wow, made a lot of money today. Thank you so much for joining that live stream. I'm gonna see you guys on Wednesday for another Run Factory 4 live stream. On the plus side, at least having kids young means by the time they move out, you'll still have some youth left to enjoy. Yeah, that's true. That's one thing. Like, if you have kids at 20, like, when you're 40, you're back to, like, you can do whatever you want, right? Whereas if you have them too late. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's a really fair point. Uh, okay, uh, wait. Uh, don't leave just yet. <laughs> we have to find a name for this goat. We have to find a name. My parents had a house, a full-time job, and kids by the time they were 22. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, I have the full-time job, but I, I don't have the house. And uh, I don't have the kids. Go goat. <laughs> Baby goat. Snickers. Ramsey. That's cute. Mm. Ramsey is cute. Okay. Let's go for Ramsey. That's our first suggestion. Oh, is that a pun? Like ram, like a ram? Ah, I just got it. I was like, why, why Ramsey? I think I'm getting it now. And we have a brown alpaca. I like Gordon Ramsey. <laughs> What about the brown alpaca? That's so cute. Hmm, I'm so bad at names. Alfred or Albert, that's cute. Did you ever name one weird owl? I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we ever did that, so maybe we can do that now. Cusco. So many people... <laughs> every time I want to name... Um, there are some names that always come back, right? Whenever there's an alpaca, there's always Cusco. And whenever there's a chicken, there's always Nugget. That comes up, so... <laughs> sorry guys, the... <laughs> The stream is still going. We still have so many animals. So we have a little baby uh, chick. So... Yep. <laughs> How should we name our little chicken? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad you guys are here. Because finding three names by myself. That would be hard. So how should we name... Sunny. Sunny is cute. Fred Side Seed Hmm Let's see Chica Chica is cute Silver Silver my my mini wolf is named Silver so actually no my big wolf is named Silver Hen Solo Oh my gosh <laughs> How do you come up with all of these names i feel like we're always going with cynthia's suggestions but but her puns are just too good <laughs> i'm sure you have a list no i don't think i'm gonna have a cow because i only have two barns and one chicken coop so i can't have more than three animals how do you come up with all of these puns every time that's too good um okay i'm i'm just gonna breed i'm just gonna go to the animal shop and breed more, and then I'm gonna save. Oh no, I can't, no, that's the pet festival today, so we can't do that. So yeah, I'm gonna say thank you so much, guys, for joining me. It was a very fun live stream. And yeah, thank you so much. Feel free to click like before leaving and subscribe if that's not already done. And you can also join the Discord. There's a link in the description. Everybody's very wholesome and very nice there, so feel free to check it out. And 
Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys on Wednesday for Ruin Factory 4. Alright, thank you so much. Bye bye.